Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about a one more concept in operating systems that is system programs. So these system programs are somewhat different from application programs. So coming to the application program or application software, so this provides services for the user right so these are the softwares which provides the services for the user and the one more uh, thing is a system software system software or system program it provides services for another software for another software the best example for this uh, uh, system software is an operating system because operating system will provide a different services for different softwares right so this is a slight difference between the application software and the system software now the system program the system program provides the environment it provides environment to develop and execute the program execute the program so it provides an environment where we can develop and execute the programs and this particular system program will lies in between the user interface and the system calls so the users can't access the system calls can't interact with the system calls directly so with the help of these system programs, the user can interact with the system calls. So that's why this system program lies in between the user interface and the system calls. See, this is a user and then it's a user interface. So in order to interact with the operating system or anything, uh, the system needs an interface, right? So from here, so this will be the kernel this will be the kernel inside the kernel we are having the system calls all these things we have discussed in the previous sessions right so in between the user interface and the kernel the system programs will be appeared so this will be lies in between the user interface and system calls and not only the system programs also the application programs so system programs as well as application programs anything can be there application programs so it lies in between the interface and the system calls and if you want to interact with the system calls it will be done with the help of only the system programs system programs right now these system programs are classified into different types. So we'll see all those different types. What are the different types of system programs? Types of system programs. The first one status information so these type of programs will provide the information regarding the status so example regarding the system date system date time and also available memory so how much memory is available available memory and how many users have been logged in into the system so all the information complete status information will be done here so users logged in all these informations will be given by these system programs so that is a status information status information 
and the second one is a communication communication so here a virtual communication will be done among all the processors and the users so virtual connections will be provided among processors and users so that once the connection was established the user can interact with another user so simply we can say it as a remote logins remote login is an example or email so one user can send an email to another user similarly web browsers so web browser is also one category so which builds the connection between the user and the network right so through the web browser we are going to uh, uh, use the internet connectivity right we can interact with the other systems with uh, in another network right so this is a, another category of our system program next file management so we know that uh, whatever the data we are giving everything will be stored in terms of files and the multiple files will be stored in the directories so the complete manipulations of files will be done here manipulations on files so that means creating a file deleting a file locating and searching so everything will be done by this software file management software right so all the file manipulations will be done here and coming to the fourth one related to the files that is a file modification file modification so a file modification means the name itself indicates the data on files the data on files will be modified will be get modified so the data can be modified and this will be done with the help of a few text editors and the commands so some editors will be there and similarly command some special commands will be there in order to change the data modify the data so this comes under the file modification these are the two are the related file management and the file modification and the next one next one program loaded and execution program loading and execution so we all know that so if one program is written that program will be executed by the processor and first the program should be loaded into the main memory so that complete process will be done here so program will be loaded into main memory so all the execution will be done in the main memory itself the processor will get the program from the main memory to execute so the program will be loaded into the main memory and the program will be executed will be executed so all these things comes under this category so program will be loaded into the main memory so example the linkers and loaders linkers and loaders so which will take care about all these things so loading the program into the main memory linking all the header files and object files uh, to combine a single object file so everything will be done and these are the examples for this program loading and executing linkers and loaders and the next one programming language support so we know that we are having a 
more number of programming languages so so if you want to execute any program so compulsory this should be done and this will be achieved with the help of uh, we know the translators like compiler interpreter assembler debugger so with the help of all these things any programming language any program can be executed by using this one that means it provides provides additional features so additional features to the programming languages to the programming languages additional features will be provided so that can be done with the help of these these language translators compiler interpreter assembler debugger etc etc right and the last one the last category the last category just now we have discussed about that one that is application programs application programs so this is somewhat different from our system software so which provides the services for users it provides the services for user right so for example if you want to uh, write a document we need some word processor so the word processor is an example for this application program word processor or spreadsheets spreadsheets right any uh, video, video players audio players everything will comes under the application programs because by using all those things they, they provide the services for the users itself so that will be the application programs right so these are the different types of system programs used in our operating system so i will list out finally i will list out them and we'll close the first category which we have seen is status information status information and the second category communication and the third category file management or a manipulation whatever it may be no problem next a file modification file modification the next one program loading and execution program loading and execution programming language support and the last one application programs application programs so these are all the different types of system programs available in our operating system right so hope you understood this uh, small concept the system programs and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much